long time no vlogmas started in the bathroom but today is the day it's already super late because i started to clean a little bit my phone because i filmed so much and my memory was a little bit struggling so this is going to be a task of declutter in between holidays during the vacation time now i'm just about to apply a little bit of lipstick and i'm actually going in the city because i have to do a very important task buy some very last minute presents the part is that i don't have to buy so many but we agreed in the family in the family here in germany to just do like a secret santa so i have to buy one present for my secret santa child <laughs> child <laughs> why did i say child okay my secret santa person to whom i gift something and probably something smaller for my boyfriend although i bought for him already very nice pair of christmas socks so this is going to be my first suggestion if you are out of ideas this is something that you can let's take this on so let's go i'm gonna dress let's see what we find destroyed after the Christmas shopping spree it was so many people and it was so tiring I hate to do shopping really like this don't like it in general but right now it was to the extreme so now I'm in the fresh air and enjoying the city it's so pretty with all the Christmas lights I'm back home after the shopping session. I'm so happy that it didn't last so long because I was really at the end of my powers. I think it was also the kind of day where it got suddenly very warm outside and I was all packed up in a lot of layers in, in my very fluffy winter jacket. So it was not so easy to, to bear everything. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but when you go shopping, and especially in this very, very crowded areas, where there are a lot of people, there's like so much energy, so much negative energy and at the end of the whole session you're like I just need a vacation after this shopping session. Back home I want to show you actually very shortly some things that I got. I have some presents as I said. I bought for my boyfriend a pair of Christmas socks because he was kind of like oh I want to have something Christmassy and I have nothing. By the way we just agreed to buy each other maybe like very small presents or very very symbolic and I also found this super cute uh, spice jar which is with the garlic parsley and red chili pepper dun, 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 dun. my favorite band super nice spice and it's definitely something that he's having all the time and he loves spices so it's the perfect perfect kind of gift and i have for my secret scent so i'm the secret scent of someone in the family and this girl is very girly and she likes to wear a lot of jewelry so i bought this very nice necklace with a j that is her name initial and also because she has a cute dog exactly like this one here i found this uh toy i found this toy for dogs which is like a peanut butter flavor so it's um it's an interesting one i have zero experience when it comes to pets i never had a pet hopefully she will hopefully she will like it suggestion that she's always happy with this kind of thing other things that you can give that are super easy to find and i think they make such a good present as maybe books so this one is for my uh, mother-in-law and usually also for my father i always used to buy books because he likes to read and in just one week he's always like reading two books so he always needs something new home decorations something for the household there are a lot of ideas 
I am probably not the best, best, best person to give you ideas because giving presents or receiving presents is not necessarily my love language, but it's fun. And honestly, I'm not so much agreeing with this whole craziness that just started over the last years that for holidays you have to spend like tons of money for stuff. Rather just give something small, just something symbolic, something that the person enjoys. This is just my personal opinion and I really like to keep it like, like this. I rather spend the money on experiences, on travels, on restaurants or on trying something unique. And by the way, this can be also like a very cool gift idea, but maybe more suitable for an actual birthday because it's something even more special. But gifting experiences, gifting uh, cooking classes, gifting uh, cards to buy like equipment for hobbies, for sports. I think these are super cool ideas, really. What I want to show you my Christmas outfit that, and maybe you can also help me choose. What should I pick for the Christmas day when we are going with the whole family, so my boyfriend's family, for a nice uh, Christmas meal. For that, let's see what is today for number 21. Number 21, it's right here, up, 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 and it's the three camel meal. Oh my god, so this one is absolutely insane. It's a soothing floral fusion of African, Egyptian, and European camel meal. That's insane. I love this kind of tea before going to sleep, and this can put me in a very relaxing mood. Gratitude challenge number 21. I hope you're still with me on this one, and you're still doing the challenge, and you're feeling already the positive results or the positive things happening in your life. For number 21, you have to send again in advance good energy, good positive gratitude vibes for the things you want to accomplish. What you're supposed to do for the day when you're after you're seeing the video, when you start the day, think about three things that you want to achieve or accomplish that are important for you. For example, like maybe a meeting, maybe a discussion with something, maybe running some errands somewhere and give thanks in advance for how these things sorted out very easily and how you got the best results that you could possibly experience. This is for things that you're supposed to focus on. Now the second thing is to be aware during the day when you encounter something that happens to you, maybe unexpectedly, whether it's good or bad, to give thanks for how things are flowing, for how things are happening. For example, someone gives you an unexpected flower or someone helps you with something maybe with packages with shopping whatever give thanks for that or for example the bus just drives in front of you and you miss it and you're maybe you're tempted to like oh be pissed and why is this happening to me and i'm going to be late maybe give thanks because you never know what missing the bus could be for you. Maybe it's actually a positive way, maybe you're going to meet with someone else that you haven't seen in a long while on the road. This kind of things always happen to me and it's a really good reminder that nothing is by accident has its place in this universe. Now let me show you very quickly my outfit and let me show you the options and I'm curious for you to tell me which one you'd like more. Show you the two outfits and how I thought the process of coming with this outfit. Um, the location is not so so elegant so I, it is a little bit but it's not extra like a cocktail kind of place and it's more like a maybe a lunch that we are going to have but maybe i'm thinking to go a little bit overdressed <laughs> just because i don't have so many occasions lately so this is number one this is option number one looks like this so it's a dress it's two pieces together it's this beautiful dress with red sparkles and with this beautiful blouse so this is from zara and this is from h&m i am trying to come with ideas recycle is the word for my clothes because i bought this dress right before the pandemic came with the idea that i will wear it for my business meetings my parties with the clients then the next six months i didn't go anywhere <laughs> and the business moved online for the next two years and now i'm not even living in romania anymore so yeah i don't have so many options so many occasions to wear it and i really like maybe worn it in this combination once but i really liked it it's really beautiful and it creates a super nice effect with the with the sleeves so this is option number one 
with the clutch the black one uh, this kind of goes for both options and the second one is this beautiful green also from zara i have most of my clothes from zara but i really love this beautiful beautiful green and i was thinking to pair it with sparkling blazer which i really like as well and it's a little bit longer so somehow this would be a better option for the cold winter days in germany what i really like with this green one is that i can also wear my beautiful earrings that my mother gifted me a while ago they are so 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 pretty and elegant and they, they look absolutely gorgeous now when it comes to nails and makeup probably the nails will be red i really want something dramatic because i rarely wear nail polish to be to be completely honest with everyone i am very low maintenance somehow really really low maintenance and as in terms of makeup like having a pretty clean makeup clear skin in c serum with a little bit of tint of bronze i really like to really go for a little bit more bronzed look because i think my face just looks better with a little bit of color and of course i always try to put my accent on my lips area where i always try to find nice and kind of breathtaking color or combination that really emphasizes the lip just like to try new things from time to time but also keep it in my own let me know which outfit you like more fortunately it's not going to be super cold in the weekend when christmas is going to be around 10 degrees so it's not extremely extremely cold um but yeah let me know which one you like more that's it for today i'm just going to go in bed today is also the longest night of the year it's the winter solstice and you know what is the best thing about this part is that from tomorrow on the day finally starts to grow again so we are going to have more daylight which is usually also associated with a period of growth a period of going back into your power a period of having more energy of having more interest for life for everything around you so see you tomorrow with a new episode Bye bye. I think we should have some more fun. More fun. I still dream about the days when we were.